everybody Grant with Maximum Life Expectancy today. We're going to be shooting the Sig Sauer P365 courtesy of Brandon Kelly and Razor's Edge Tactical. Um, we're also going to kind of head-to-head -head compare uh, one of my favorite guns, Glock 43. Uh, no doubt about it, there's some things in this SIG that are very interesting and it could quite honestly be a game changer um, and maybe toss the Glock 43 out or at least relegate it to uh, an, another antique. So um, stay tuned and we'll see what she's got. All right, so here's our first test. I'm just gonna do a slow fire, uh, kind of feel um, what kind of recoil it produces. We're at seven yards. Uh, I believe we have a mix of uh, federal ball and mid-American munitions that we're gonna run through it. We'll just see how well she performs. Okay guys, um, I heard a rumor on the internet from the uh, guy that does active self-protection. Uh, he was out at SHOT Show reviewing this pistol, that's what kind of sparked my interest. Um, and he was saying people were calling it snappy. Uh, I don't see it as snappy at all. It has way less recoil. Um, at least in that ammunition I just shot than my Glock 43. Um, the trigger is so clean and so crisp. Um, it caught me off guard several times compared to my Glock 43. When I know I hit that wall, I know um, that there's it's coming. This thing surprised me and a couple uh, times I wasn't exactly where I thought I needed to be. Um, you know, I'm programmed to uh, that 43. But so far, um, you know, 10 rounds in, dude, this gun is sweet. Okay, here was the first group, roughly a two inch group, uh, or a circle rather, uh, maybe two and a half, I don't know. I don't have a ruler, but first shot caught me off guard, but um, started figuring it out after that, and uh, it, it's not snappy at all on the recoil side, so. Let's put some more rounds through it, some different stuff, and, and see if I can narrow it down from there. So standard, standard load 147 Federal HST from 7 yards. Looks like only three out of ten are out of the ten ring, so or out of the X ring, I should say.
dude, this gun is sweet. We got a six hour P365, um, 10 rounds of mid American munitions, 115 grain reman ball, and we got a 18 by 30. Uh, Ipsic steel target at 100.7 yards. So let's see how well um, this puppy will perform. Bad round, maybe. What's going on? But I had a uh, um, a problem with the new Sig P365. Um, everything was running great, and I was uh, in deep, deep puppy love with it up until this morning. Uh, went out to the range hoping to get some some better quality footage I'm shooting the thing um, I'm out at a hundred yards, um, which I was able to consistently get 8 out of 10 hits on a Ipsic uh, 18 by 30 plate yesterday uh, but the video just I, left a little bit to be desired so I thought I'd try to reproduce it and bring all, all of my uh, equipment out to do it today and I couldn't get the gun to fire. Um, you could hear the striker moving forward, um, audible click, no indentation, no mark whatsoever on the primer of the, the round and uh, took those rounds out and I shot them through my Glock 17, fine, no issues whatsoever. So I know it's not bad ammo, same ammo that it's been shooting. Um, and uh, I just wonder if um, the SIG lifespan is not what it should be um, or, you know, I don't know. Uh, something went wrong, obviously, um, and we have only about five to six hundred rounds through this gun. Um, I would conservatively estimate it 550. So um, nowhere near what a uh, gun's lifespan should be. Um, but maybe there's some debris someplace that has uh, has locked that firing pin up. So we're gonna take it back to Razor's Edge and uh, disassemble it and see if this is something to be worried about or if it's uh, that perfect spot of debris in the worst spot that it could be in um, to cause it to go down. So um, we shall see. Stay tuned for more info. Yeah, the tip is snapped off. Mm -hmm. Hey everybody, all joking aside, let's talk about, in my opinion, what are the pros and the cons of the six hour P365. Um, first off, I want to start with the obvious ones. Capacity. This gun has it. Um, it has it where others don't even come close. 10 round capacity in a flush mag gives you the capability of 11 rounds. The next closest gun out there is going to be a Glock 26. Not in the same size of gun market so it's not even a fair comparison all right um, next I love the comfort of the grip it felt great in my hand now I I am dimensionally challenged I have small little baby hands and you know it felt good to me you may be a different animal but it it was good for me 
Um, next, I thought the recoil was very polite. I managed it well. It, it was comfortable to shoot. It wasn't abusive to me. Um, so I rate that as a plus. Um, it's accuracy. You know, um, I don't claim to be, you know, a tier one kind of, you know, shooter. I'd love to be like everybody else, but I'm, I'm not there. I, um, I'm better than the average maybe, but, uh, the gun shot well for a little 3.1 inch barrel. So I'm very happy with, with that. And then it's got a really nice, crisp, clear trigger. Um, it breaks and the sights are are not being jarred, you know, off of the target. So all those things are really obvious pluses to me. Then, you know, the last plus, in my opinion, is the features. It, it comes with night sights, um, albeit they're not the kind of night sights I love, but they're definitely better than the you know, standard Glock sight that, that comes on their guns that are just garbage, in my opinion. Um, you know, maybe they're doing that because they know you're going to pull them off anyway if you're serious about, you know, defense and, and put a pair of sights in that you actually like. So, um, the price, I thought, was was reasonable. At $4.99, I think, is MSRP or, or what uh, the local shop is willing to sell you the gun for when they have it um, with night sights and, and all the features that's that's good um, of course the size is is nice it's going to be very easy to conceal um, I just really dig the gun quite honestly but let's talk about the the cons the obvious con is going to be the gun that I shot and broke, is that indicative of what you can expect out of this SIG P365? Honestly, I don't know. I would like to think that that was a rare thing, that it's an exception, not the rule. Um, I would also like to tell you that, you know, when we pulled the guts out of this thing and I looked at that broken part, um, did the part look chintzy? Um, or did it look like, you know, it, it should have held up better and, and, you know, from what my opinion can be valued at, I'm not a metallurgist, I'm not a, you know, machinist or an engineer that builds this stuff. The part looked cheap. It, it looked like it was a cast part, um, and that, that troubles me, but, you know, I'm going to tell you, I, I probably shouldn't be trusted in, in that uh, assumption or that opinion that 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 part is cheap uh, to get over this hurdle of, of reliability in my mind I'm going to need to get my hands on another P P365 and I'm gonna need to put um, even more rounds through it before I'm gonna trust my life to a gun I'm gonna put a thousand rounds through it period um, that's that's my my view that's what I do um, that's where I feel comfortable about it and um, a little gun like a P365, I'm not going to cut them any slack because it's a little gun. Um, that's my standard. Um, your standard may be a lot less, but my standard for this 365 before I am going to stake my livelihood and my life on it and my family's life on it is I'm going to put a thousand rounds through it. And if that gun can't handle a thousand rounds, then it's it's going to be a safe queen or a gun of interest, but it's going to be nothing more than that. Um, the other cons are I I felt at least in the model that I had the magazine release button was hard to get to. Um, it it wasn't re as responsive as I would have liked it to be. Um, that said, that's not a big issue. I don't want the magazine button being so easily tripped that I'm constantly retrieving magazines that are, are falling out of the gun um, that are accidentally bumped. And, and you're definitely, I don't think you're going to have that problem with the 365. The next big con is unit availability. Um, I've heard all kinds of rumors and I don't want to pass on rumors, but it, it may be a while before you see um, enough 365s out there on the market that you can just leisurely walk in and buy one and, and 
feel like you're not taking a risk to to beat it up. Um, that kind of goes hand in hand with my, with the other con, and that's upgraded parts. Um, you know, I would love to to have the gun if it's you know reliable um, and have that 12 round extended magazine in it. But from what I heard, it's even more rare. Um, you know, at least as of now. Um, but are there going to be upgrade sites for it? Are there going to be, you know, an extended magazine release? Or are there going to be holsters or, you know, any number of those things that maybe you want to customize it and make it your own? It may be a while before those things come available. And, and those honestly are fairly small cons. Um, but, but that's what I'm thinking as far as the cons. Um, you know, uh, all in all, I, I still really like this gun. I think it has great potential. Um, I'm concerned about its longevity, as you might think, because I wasn't hard on this gun. Um, I put uh, you know upwards of 550 to almost 600 rounds through it, and I, it was problem-free until it wasn't. And so, like I said, I, I want to know. I'm not going to carry it, or I'm not going to, you know, seek out to to get one as a carry gun until I have um, shot it and tested it. But um, if somebody's thinking, "Oh, you were too hard on the gun. You froze it. You baked it. You plunged it in water," I didn't do any of that stuff. Um, I just shot it, and and at least in this particular model, it did not survive just plain Jane shooting. Um, I mean. It, it never got hot because I only had two magazines that I could load up to run through it. So, you know, 20, 20 run rounds at, at a time, that's not generating a lot of heat or, or pressure or any of those things that, that should have caused a problem, in my opinion. But that definitely could have been a, a one-off situation. So, um, you know, my opinion on this gun is there's merits to it. But do your due diligence, um, as you should on any carry gun. I don't care. It, it's got the greatest name in the world. Um, you better test it because your life is worth it. So um, until next time, thanks, stay safe, and train hard.